Today we're looking at how to connect your laptop to your TV using an HDMI cable. Now, I bought this Amazon Basics high speed HDMI 2 cable the other day, mail to mail connector. There are other sort of connector types out there like VGA or there are other adapters for example. There's even wireless connections, but for the purpose of the today we're looking at purely HDMI only. So just a quick look at what we'll, the equipment we'll be using in the video today. We'll be using a Sony Bravia TV along with a power cable. We'll also be using a Lenovo laptop, again with a power cable, because I like the power switched on when I'm using it so it doesn't power out when I'm outputting to the TV. We'll also be using a mouse, just because I prefer using a mouse to the actual mouse board on the laptop itself. And we'll of course be using the HDMI cable. So let's jump into the detail now and get this all set up. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is to plug the power cable into the laptop itself. So if we just do that, okay, and the next thing we're going to do is to actually plug in a mouse to the machine. It's just, I find it a lot easier to actually use, okay. So if we just plug the mouse in as well, okay. The next thing we're going to do is to actually plug in the HDMI cable. So I've got this Amazon, the Amazon one here. We're going to plug that into the back of the TV. Now. Ours is on the bottom left hand side, the HDMI port. Yours might be somewhere else, left, right. We've got two ports, so we are using HDMI port two today. You may have more than one port. So basically, just make a note of the port which you're using. In our case, it was two, okay? And once that's all plugged in, just move the TV back to where it was. If we go to our laptop, okay, and we just sign in and basically what we need to do now is plug the HDMI cable into the laptop itself so find the HDMI port and basically plug it in there okay the last thing we need to do to output it to the screen is to actually choose the output which is HDMI 2 which we've just done okay so as you can see at the moment the screens are duplicated because they look exactly the same but we'll come back to display settings in a moment the first thing we need to do is to look at the power settings. Now, the reason I say this is because if you're outputting to your larger screen, and for example, once that's set up and you close the lid on your laptop, if it's not set up correctly, it can hibernate, power down, etc. So if we just type into the bottom here, power settings, and if we select power settings from there, and if we go to the right hand side, you've got additional power settings. So if we select that, and choose what closing the lid does. Now that's really important. So when I close the lid on battery and plugged in, currently it's on sleep. So if we're outputting to the TV and we shut it, it would sleep. So what I tend to do is to say, do nothing. And what happens then is when we close the lid, obviously nothing happens. So that's quite a crucial point. Just wanted to point out to you, okay? So if we close both of those. Now, the next point is the display settings. So if we type in the display settings, we have some control over how things are displayed between the laptop and the um, the TV. So as you can see here at the moment, one or two has got line through the middle, so that's a sign it's duplicated. And as we scroll down under multiple displays, it says duplicate these displays, okay? So that's one option you can have if you wanted to do that. So maybe you're showing photos, for example. Let's just say you're going through a slideshow, for example, and the laptop's away from the TV, you can do that so you've got control. So that's that's something you can do, okay? But if we go back into display settings, other than duplicate, you can obviously have extend these settings where you actually have two different screens, okay? So you can be doing something on here, for example, I don't know, maybe using that as a monitor, you could be doing a spreadsheet on here, or you could be using it for something else over there which isn't spreadsheet related. So that's something which you can do, okay? The other option, let's just move that, let's just move that back to the screen here. The other option you can do is to show on your monitor one and two. So monitor one is a laptop, so you probably don't want to do that for the purpose of the video. But if you wanted, for example, to show only on two, you can do that, okay, and you can keep the changes. And if we shut that down like that, and then what you can do is there's a file on here called a video file. So for example, if you wanted to start a movie or something. Just turn that down, it's a bit loud. You could do that and basically get everything, um, if you like. So everything is purely outputted on here now without the laptop. So, and then obviously you have got some control over it. So I put together some other computer related videos for you. Links are appearing on screen now, so be sure to check them out. 
But thanks for watching our video today on how to connect your laptop to your TV using an HDMI cable. We'll see you on the next video.